Welcome to the Mentec booth. Our VP of Marketing, Martin Van Stel, recorded a 10-minute corporate overview that will introduce you to the company. So for the sake of time, I'll jump right into the technology. I'll give you an introduction to planar technology, present a case study, and an overview of Mentec's planar capabilities and offerings. Why planar? Decreasing operational expenses, extending battery life, decreasing carbon emissions and waste. All these have driven to lower voltages and smaller devices. Likewise, smaller and smaller smartphones and such have driven size decreases. So this requires higher density and efficiency. A planar transformer's copper lead frame and flat ferrite core decrease the size and weight versus a traditional wire round. And you can see heat sinking is simpler given the planar outline. The tighter coupling provided by thin copper laminations increases efficiency and reduces leakage. This part shows leakage inductance of about 0.05% versus traditional at about 0.1% of inductance, uh, about a 50% improvement. In high frequency switchers, most power loss is caused by AC impedance due to skin effect. Planar eases that. Uh, delta represents the skin depth here, which is the depth below the surface of the conductor at which the current density falls to one over E, which is about 37% of the current at the surface. Uh, in this drawing, the blue area represents the skin depth that's carrying AC, yellow is not. So we see this frequency increases, skin depth decreases, and ACR increases. In conventional transformers, we use multi-strand wire to alleviate skin effect. Uh, each single strand wire gauge no greater than two times delta. Likewise, in planar power transformers, the thickness of each copper plate uh, or sheet is no greater than two delta. So the red box shows the flat wire achieving higher density, similar performance with the lower profile form factor. The low loss results in about a 99% increase in efficiency. Planar transformers can run up to 700 kilohertz. Uh, that said, most customers stay under 500 kilohertz or so just to ease EMI effects. Compared to traditional configurations such as direct assembly on the PCV, bolt mounting, or soldering lead wire, uh, the lead frame allows different and automated configurations. There's six planar configurations. Multi-layer PCB for high power DC to DC is easy to build but high cost. Uh, three layer wire insulated wire on the primary and PCBs or plates on the secondary uh, is better for heat transfer and eases insulation. The third example shows three layers on the primary and flat coil on the secondary. Plates on both sides are common for carrying high current with low voltages. PCB is the primary and foil and secondary for high power and slash high current. Uh, and the last configuration using flat coils is more for inductors. Speaking of inductors, uh, here are some benefits planar offers to inductors. The pictures on the bottom right are actually transformers. Uh, but core materials can be chosen as performance requires, performance versus cost. Um, and these can be very small. They can carry up to 150 amps and have DCR as low as 0.2 milliohms. Here's an example of our planar transformer in a charger. It's about one inch by two inches, 15 watt charger. A quick comparison of traditional versus planar transformers. These use the same core. You can see the planar is shorter. Uh, planar is more automated and higher quality. And these graphics are, if you look down at half the bobbin, its mirror image would be up here above. Uh, the blue circles being wires, we're looking down into them. Uh, the planer has a PCB on the primary and two copper plates on the secondary. On the planer between the primary and the secondary is a plastic layer whose thickness can be adjusted to tune leakage inductance quite conveniently. Just to show this small form factor can pass high voltage testing. In this example, the planer was a bit shorter and offered tunability of leakage inductance. Well, we don't show on the table efficiency improvements and such. Here's a comparison of production lines for a traditional and a planer transformer uh, with 500 units per hour throughput. The traditional on top shows, um, the green boxes are automated and the, and the traditional on top shows less green boxes. <laughs> planer can automate about 20% more than traditional and requires less than half the operators. All of these steps are automated in planar manufacture. What you don't see are things like inspection steps, uh, packaging. 
This cost comparison example is for a complicated design where planar is pretty cost competitive. Uh, simpler designs will have a higher delta between traditional and planar. This shows manufacturing costs are less for planar due to automation and simpler processes, but most of the premium is due to component cost. Uh, this should increase over time, sorry. The component costs should decrease over time as volumes increase. We've got detailed analyses, uh, bill material and manufacturing costs for these, but it's somewhat proprietary. So we are only showing the cost delta. Basically, that delta is smaller for more complex designs and expected to decrease over time as planar volumes increase. We've been shipping planar inductors for seven years, have worked out the challenges, we're very comfortable with the technology, and we continue to add new complex configurations. Uh, we've doing, been doing planar transformers for about eight years and have been expanding configurations, such as in the top right, you see uh, integrated inductor into the package. I won't open the catalog here. Uh, we have them for download in the booth. Alternatively, give us your specs and we'll see if we have such a standard product or we may make a custom. Uh, we have a large engineering team and do many customs. In fact, most uh, planar designs are customs. Demand for planar keeps increasing. As it does, we increase our capacity. Just a summary here, uh, please visit us in the Mentech booth for further discussions or post show via our contact information here. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you in the booth.